Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is John and this is your Modern Tech Breakdown. Today I've got another sneaky business practice to let everyone know about, this time from Oracle. Let's jump into it. So Oracle makes a virtualization product called VirtualBox, and I've used it a long, long time ago, and it worked really well for me at the time, but it seems that Oracle has subtly changed its licensing terms, and it could definitely trip up some folks, so the details matter. First off, it's useful to know that there's a core VirtualBox product and an extension pack that adds some useful features that a good amount of people would probably want, things like USB support or remote desktop protocol support. And before this change from Oracle, you could download the extension pack and evaluate it for free for a period of time and uninstall it if you didn't want to pay Oracle's licensing fee. But now it seems that the evaluation is no longer a part of the license, and if you download it, Oracle is going to start harassing you to pay for a license. So as this article explains, Oracle is more or less trying to trap you and force you to buy a license using fear tactics. And I don't know how far these fear tactics go, but this might not be something you want to explain to your boss or have an Oracle representative bring up in a meeting with the higher ups in your organization. But this story is pretty straightforward and I'll just say this, people and companies have the right to sell software licenses. It takes work to create great software and I'm in favor of developers getting paid. Not too controversial a stance, I don't think. But that said, this comes across as a very underhanded and nasty way to conduct business just charge people upfront for the software and be clear about it. Trying to trick people into a trap that you wanna spring on them is just not cool. But that's how Oracle works, I guess. Sadly, it's not too surprising. But if you're out there and you use VirtualBox, I'd strongly recommend that you consider another product where the maker isn't trying to trap you. There's so many options out there. But what do you think about all this? Leave a comment down below. As always, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will catch you next time.